What is up guys? Big 49 here. We are back on the Desolation map. And we're back in the ghetto working on some meatpacking plants. Yeah, that's right guys. I'm back in the meatpacking plant. I wanna I wanna get a big push on this before I completely abandon it. Like every other project they start, I kind of, you know, get a big push on it and get it like halfway done and then I'll like completely ignore it for a while. And I do this on purpose. It's sort of on purpose. A little bit on purpose. Okay, I do it because I want to bring fresh ideas to it. You know, I get all my ideas out onto the page and then I give it some time and I reflect on what I've done and then I come back with renewed vigor, <laughs> okay? So if you guys have been watching, you saw me do this on Monday's video. I talked about World War III and all the great things that would come of it, <laughs> okay? It was a happy video. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, be sure to keep leaving me creative questions of the week, guys. I love your creative questions of the week. Oh, they're the best. It's my favorite part about this whole journey of, of ours that we're on engaged together. Uh, I, I don't know why I like it so much. I just like talking to you guys about things that aren't necessarily about Minecraft, you know? There's only so much we can say about Minecraft before it starts to get stale, and the creative question of the week really, you know, injects a, a sense of, I don't know, something else. Ooh, look at all this space down here. What should go down here? Well, I'll have to figure this out. Maybe a bunch, like a meat piled up. I don't know. I don't what I gotta, What can I do there? I don't know. I'm open to suggestions. What I want to work on today is some more machinery. So what I did off camera is I gave the meat a little bit more character. As you can see here, I used some mushroom blocks uh, here and there. And uh, basically, I put the, the meat on this conveyor belt. There's a whole process, okay? Let me explain this. You know, you, the meat comes here. They put a lot of it into the deep freeze. Um, when they're ready, they put it on this conveyor belt, and it goes up, up, up. And then some guys up here are working up here and they put it on these hooks, these metal hooks, and these metal hooks kind of bring the meat down and I guess they cut it up here. There's some guys standing here cutting up the meat. They trim it down, probably trim all the fat, you know, it goes into the, the, the juices go into this little drain here. Oh, I got, okay, maybe that's where I could put the juices. Maybe, I mean the fat, all the fat can come here to like a, a garbage disposal, maybe a furnace. Maybe they're burning the fat. I don't know, what do you do with excess fat? Ugh. Uh, it's just gross to think about. So then it comes on this conveyor belt, and there'll, there'll be employees on the other side of this belt, on both sides, and they're chopping it up, chopping the, I don't know what they do. I don't, I've never been into a meatpacking plant, okay? I don't know what goes on in a meatpacking plant. All I know is it's gross. <laughs> it's gross. You know what I would actually like to do, now that we're thinking about this? Instead of doing that, I think this makes it seem like, you know, there's employees here working on it and you know I put these little cauldrons here so that they can put the gizzards I don't know you know gross it's disgusting it's pretty disgusting to think about if you ask me so yeah I mean I looked at some pictures of Google images and kind of got a general sense of what happens in these places and it's like an assembly line of people just chopping up meat over and over left and right chop 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 and I guess they're getting it down just to the to the good bits to the meat and potatoes or just the meat there's no potatoes in here this is not a vegetarian an establishment <laughs> okay so yeah this is why I, you know I thought this was such a great idea for the desolation map is because you know I wanted to show negativity all throughout the city of Coveton and the people in this city were very they're just entrenched in it they're soaked in negativity and I feel like this is a very negative thing you guys already know my stance on on eating animals okay I don't like it I don't I'm not for it <laughs> I'm not for it um, so what I want to do here is I want to put like a big machine here that kind of packages this up and puts it into like maybe shrink wrap or some sort of packaging. So I guess that's what I'll do here with this, um, excuse me, with this uh, video today is I'll try to work on this machine. It's going to be like a nondescript machine. Just a, this is a, a machine from my imagination, guys. <laughs> okay, that's what this is. So we'll see how it comes out. But what I want to talk about today is I want to pose a question to you guys. And you know, I, I, like a lot of people when they hear something like this, they, they tune out. Uh, and that's the, that's the main reaction from most people is they tune out when they hear something like this because they don't want to they don't want to have to think about the reality. Okay, reality sometimes is scary <laughs> for a lot of people. So a lot of people tune out when they hear something like this. I've noticed in my life, you know, I've talked to a lot of people about this because it's a it's an issue that weighs heavily on my mind. And so I, I like to talk about it. I'm not I'm not trying to like change anyone necessarily. I, I mean, if they want to change, then that's amazing. But what I'm really doing when I talk about these things is I'm trying to get people to ask questions. And as you know, if you've been following me along through this crazy journey we're on here, 
uh, that's my main goal for for you. As you know, that's probably really why I'm doing this to help you ask questions. Okay, this is not gonna work. Let's go like that. Um, ask questions because if you don't ask the questions, you can't get the answers. You know what I'm saying, guys? It's deep. I know. <laughs> Might be too deep for some of you, but yeah, if you don't ask the questions, you can't get the answers. So let's ask some questions and see where where these answers take us. You know what I mean? So my question to you is. And I, I want you to answer this truthfully, as truth, truthfully as you possibly can, okay? Why is it okay to eat a cow, but not a dog? That is my question that I'm posing to you guys today. Why is it okay to eat a cow, but not a dog? And I've thought a lot about this. I've thought a lot about this. And you know, this is one of those questions that, like, this is one of those, when I first asked this question to myself, this was the, the moment that where I was like, oh my goodness, what have I done? Now, the only logical, the only reason, in my opinion, the only answer to that question, there's only one answer. And I, I think you're lying if you say any other answer. There's only one real answer to that question. And to me, the answer is because that's what someone told you. Uh huh. Before you could speak, before you learn how to talk, someone told you that it's okay to eat a cow, but not okay to eat a dog. That's what you were told as a small child. And you couldn't really argue with it because you didn't even know, <laughs> you didn't even know how to wipe your butt at that point, okay? Anyone who can't wipe their own butt is not in the, any position to question anything. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So if you can't wipe your own butt, how can you question the things that these, uh, you know, butt wipers are telling you about? <laughs> The butt, the butt wipers are telling you these things and you can't really dispute it. You can't argue with it because, you know, they're wiping your butt and uh, without them, you'd, you'd be in a world of pain. <laughs> okay, you know what I mean? Without the butt wipers around, you'd be in a world of pain. So you kind of have to listen to what they say. You know what I mean? And it just sticks with you for the, your entire life. Your whole life, you are like, okay, the things these butt wipers told me, is the things I'm going with. I'm going with it, okay? I mean, if it wasn't for them, I would be... I, I don't want to I don't want to get too graphic, okay? But you use your imagination. <laughs> use your imagination. If it wasn't for the butt wipers, you'd be in a sad situation right now. So you just listen to what they say and you take it for truth. But the funny thing about these butt wipers is... Let me tell you guys. These butt wipers are just telling you the things that their butt wipers told them. <laughs> What? Yes, they're just telling you the things that their butt wiper told them and the butt wiper before them told them and on and on through generation after generation of butt wipers. They were just like, cows are food, dogs are pets. Cows are food, dogs are pet. Wipe, wipe. Cows are food, dogs are pet. Wipe, wipe. <laughs> you know, on and on through the ages. That's what happened. And uh, no one along, no one for the most part, I don't know, I don't know your fa family ancestry, but at no point along that line of butt wiping and flesh consuming, did anyone stop to say, did everything those butt wipers say make sense? Or was I just happy to have my butt wiped? And uh, that's where the asking questions comes into play. Actually, let's change this up a little bit. That's where asking questions comes into play because what is the difference between a cow and a dog? They both have four legs. They both have feelings. They both have emotions. They both are, are parents to their, their offspring. They both, uh, you know, cry out in pain when they're injured, when they're physically hurt. They both have emotions where they feel things. They both have souls, basically. Just like you and me, they would have a soul. And there's absolutely there's absolutely no difference between them, really, when you think about it. Um, you may say, oh, well, dogs don't taste good. Oh, really? Have you had dog before? Oh, so you're qualified to say that? No, that's just another thing a butt wiper told you. So we don't eat dogs because for the simple fact that 
The butt wipers told us not to. There's no other reason. The butt wiper said, no, we can't eat dogs. And no one questions it. But there's absolutely no difference between a dog and a cow. What is the difference? They're both feeling, thinking, sentient beings. Look up the word sentient if you don't know what it means. Okay? They're, they're, there's no difference between a cow and a dog other than the size. You know what I mean? Of course they're different. They have different types of thoughts. And, you know, some people might argue that dogs are easier to train than cows. But, you know, who's to say? I mean, that might mean that cows are smarter than dogs. They're more independent. They're not going to listen to this stupid human telling them what to do. They're, they're going to they're do their own thing, you know? Dogs are like, oh, oh which way did the stick go? You know what I mean? So I would say that dogs are maybe even dumber than cows in many respects. But we revere them, we look up to them, and we, we don't eat them. Uh, mainly because a butt wiper told us not to. A butt wiper told you not to. And that's the, that's the reality of the whole situation, guys. That's the answer to the question, is because a butt wiper said no. <laughs> that's why you don't eat cat, uh, dogs, or cats, or any of the animal pets that we call pets. This is a weird looking machine. Okay, guys, I, I don't know what's going on with this machine. What I wanna make here is like, hmm. I want people to be able to go through it. So how would you, I don't know, maybe there's a roller here. Maybe use ice. This is like putting cellophane over the thing. It goes through that and the cellophane wraps on it. I don't know, I'm just making this up. This is a Willy Wonka type contraption at this point. Like, I don't know what's going on in here. I'm just talking about butt wipers and I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, wow, okay. You know, you, you start thinking about butt wipers and you, you kind of lose focus. <laughs> That's something I learned today. <laughs> All right, <laughs> focus in, be focus in. What do we do here? So yeah, guys, really kind of question your belief system. I think that's the moral of this story. That's what I'm trying to get at is we have these belief systems that we've carried with us our whole lives, and most of us have no idea why. And the the reality of the situation is the reason why we have these belief is beliefs are because that's what we were told when we were small children. I don't know what kind of uh, I don't know what to do here, guys. Uh, so you know. Just keep in mind that not everyone who tells you what you think are facts is, is telling you facts, okay? You know, a lot of times, through no fault of their own, adults and people in positions of power, teachers, the media, they'll tell you things that they think are true, and they think are for the greatest good, but they're just lies that they've been told and that they believed. So you really gotta question every single thing that you hear. Why would you believe anyone when they're telling you anything? Because that just opens you up to being manipulated and controlled. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta question everything. Find out for yourself and then, you know, anytime you have a belief, a belief is knowing something without proof. That's when you believe in something. So that's a bad thing in my opinion. Why would you believe in anything? You know, if, if you don't have some sort of evidence for something, why would you believe it? You wanna, what if someone, you know, what if you were on trial for uh, a murder and all the witnesses thought you might have done it, but there's no evidence, but so they send you to jail for life. How would you feel? Like there's no evidence, but everyone believed you did it. You know, you'd feel horrible. It'd be the worst feeling in the world. And uh, that's what you gotta, you know, really question things for because put yourself in that position. What if you were a, a, a cow and everyone just believed that you needed to be slaughtered and killed? And you see these dogs running around and they're having the time of their life, okay? But, you know, they, the dogs can't even wipe their own butts. How would you feel as a cow? You know what I mean? So, uh, the moral of this story, guys, is don't trust any butt wipers just because they wipe your butt. I mean, uh, <laughs> what, what, were their what were their qualifications anyway? That they had two hands and, a, and an access to pampers? You know, I don't know. I don't know anymore. It's all crazy. This world, is, this world we live in is crazy, and people aren't ha nearly as smart as they think they are, okay? Because uh, they don't question their, their butt wipers.
And that's kind of the, the message I want to put out there today. You know, again, I'm not trying to change your mind on anything. I just want you to ask a question. Why do you, why do you listen to these butt wipers without thinking about what they have to say? Why do you just, oh, that's not right. Why do you just uh, listen to them unquestioningly, okay? So think about what you believe in. Think about where these beliefs come from. And think about maybe, just maybe, they're wrong. <laughs> you know, maybe they could be wrong. So, I mean, and why don't we eat dogs uh, is just the start. You know, there's a lot of things your butt wipers told you that were wrong. A lot of things. And we don't have time to get into all that today because there's a lot of butt wiping lies going on around. And that could be the subject of another few years worth of videos. So, so let's start at the dogs and then, you know, move on from there. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Uh, I think that's this video for today. I mean, I don't know, I don't know about this machine. This machine looks weird. I know it looks weird. What can I say, man? I've never seen a machine like this in real life. I, I, I didn't find anything on Google, so I went with my own weird, crazy imagination, and this is what came out. Uh, it's not done. I'll add a lot more details to this, and uh, we'll put some meats. You know, I could do that real quick. The meat's the easy part. So we'll go like that. Uh, I think as the meat's coming down here, it's going to get less and less bloody, so we'll go with something like this. This might be the meat here. All right, and then it'll be in the smaller chunks. Actually, ooh, I got an idea. Once the meat uh, gets wrapped in shrink wrap, it's not actually discernible as meat. Something like this. There we go. There we go. Now the meat's all wrapped in its little packaging and it's coming down here, down the assembly line. I'll, I'll put something here because this is where the trucks come to pick it up. So maybe a boxing place where employees are boxing up the meat. Uh, but before it goes into the little cellophane area, we got think some of that smaller chunks I'll do that around here too smaller chunks by the time it gets to this point in the in the operation it's in smaller less bloody chunks there we go there we go uh-huh perfect that's a little production line here just imagine if these were dogs well, think of the uproar think of the uproar if this place was packaging dog meat but what's the difference between a cow and a dog I don't know, ask your local butt wiper. All right guys, that's gonna be the video for today. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Thank you for wiping your own butts. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. As always, happy Minecrafting. Peace.